guys, it's Rosa here. I hope you're all having a really lovely day. Um, I'm here today to show you guys some of the little bits I've got for Christmas, um, which are all to do with sewing. I've been super lucky this Christmas. I've got some really beautiful things. I've got three patterns and a piece of fabric and something else as well. So I'm really excited to share them with you. Before I start, let me quickly show you what I'm wearing. Um, this is a top which I made probably about oh, three or four years ago. It's made out of Ponchi, um, Ponchi de Roma that I got in New York the first time I went. So it's really lovely memories. Um, I'm wearing it with another really old make, so I made this mini skirt. Um, I'll insert a picture of the pattern. It's a really basic mini skirt. It's one of my favourite patterns though, it's a simplicity one. Um, I really like the shape, I like how it's kind of A-line. And it's I've worn it so much the hem is like actually falling apart. But it's one of my faves. I made my earrings as well. Um, they're just like little Eiffel Tower charms that I got off eBay and I put them onto little gold um, hanging hanging loops. Is that what you call them? Uh, the little, that's not the right word, <laughs> the little... Um, yeah, earring part because I have really sensitive ears. I think I've said before I can't wear um, any other metals apart from gold in my ears so I buy these backs here and then just like add stuff on. I made some tassel ones before and now I've made little little Eiffel Towers. This cardigan that I'm wearing was also a Christmas present from my mum. Um, it's a second hand, uh, I think it's so beautiful, it's a second hand cardigan. Um, so it's, it's hand knitted. I mean how long must this have taken something to knit? It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this cardigan. It's so cozy. I think I've worn it just constantly since Christmas Day because it's so warm and it's absolutely freezing at the moment. I think it's zero degrees outside. Um, but I put these little buttons on. I changed the buttons for these little log cabins, which I'm obsessed with. It kind of reminds me this cardigan of um, the log lady from Twin Peaks. If anyone watches uh, Twin Peaks. And these buttons actually have a lovely memory attached because I got these when I went shopping with Harriet. I'll link her YouTube channel down below. I'm sure everybody watches Harriet's videos. She's just absolutely lovely. We went shopping together in Brixton um, and these are from Simply Fabrics and yeah, we had such a nice day. So this is a really nice memory <laughs> of our nice day we had together and then now on my cardigan. So anyway, that's enough about what I'm wearing. Let me show you what I got for Christmas. So the first thing I got from my lovely, lovely boyfriend is two sewing patterns. Now these are from Slow Sunday Paris and I've not had any of their patterns before, but I'm super excited to try them. The instructions are in French, <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure I can work them out, particularly this one. This is called the Tilia. Um, the Tilia dress and it's a little dungaree dress like this. I thought it was so adorable and really really chic um, and it's rated as easy and um, so I think it, I just love this packaging. How beautiful is it? And it opens up at the back which is nice. You don't even have to rip it to get it open. Um, so it opens up like this and inside you get the little um, instruction booklet like this and it's got pictures inside and they are fully illustrated and it looks to me if I spoke French these would be very clear but actually not speaking French the pictures really are good enough um, and they're printed onto uh, normal paper so if you've never tried this pattern company out before do take a look I think they're absolutely beautiful I'm so yeah I was so excited to unwrap them I may have dropped some hints I mean like I don't think it was complete luck that I got these ones um, but yeah, I'm really excited to make these. So I've got this one and the other one is, I'm actually more excited for this one, I think, the Soroya, Soroya blouse and dress. So it's got two different options in this pattern and they're both absolutely adorable. I love that it's got buttons either going down the front or the back. This is rated as advanced, I think, but it doesn't look too difficult, I don't think. I mean, I think that the difficult bit will be attaching that yoke, there's lots of curved edges there, but I'm sure if I persevere, <laughs> I can get through that one. So yeah, that's my first present, it's my Slow Sunday patterns. Um, I also got a beautiful piece of vintage fabric from my mum. Now, I absolutely love this. I opened, it was the first thing I opened, and I was like, oh! <gasps> so it really, it's just absolutely beautiful. I think it's a tight, it's a crepe, uh, I think maybe a viscous crepe. I haven't washed it yet, so I'm hoping it's not going to shrink too much. Um, if need be, I can hand wash it, whatever I make. Um, I think it's fairly old because it's very narrow, so I feel, feel like you can always tell how old a fabric is by if it's super narrow. So if you look, it's like less than a metre wide. Very, very narrow fabric, but I've got quite a lot. I think I've got three metres of it. Maybe, yeah, maybe even just over three metres. So it's stunning. I mean, look at it. 
it's so gorgeous it's so vintage it's just i love the colors are really nice as well i think they'll suit me i'm super excited to make something out of this um is what i'm saying so let me know down below if you've got any amazing ideas of what i could make with this it's just so beautiful so thank you so much mum, if you're watching um the next thing i'd like to show you is another sewing pattern and this is again from my wonderful boyfriend and it's from trend patterns now again i'm loving this because i haven't tried either of these pattern companies before which i'm always really excited to try out new companies um, so it's from Trend Patterns and it's called the 70s dress. Now you guys know 70s is my absolute favorite decade. Um, and there's the line drawing on the back. So it's basically tiered, flouncy amazingness. I'm really tempted to use velvet to make this, although it could look a little bit much perhaps, but you know, hey, who cares? Um, so what you get inside is a little uh, booklet again. And this, instead of having illustrations, is all photographed. So really, really clear instructions and they are extensively explained every single step. So yeah, I really can't fault the instructions in here. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm tempted to not make it with the three tiers, if I'm honest. I might just go for two tiers and have it be a midi length because I'm not really a maxi girl. I'm only five foot four and a bit, so I'm not that tall and maxi can drown me a little, but we'll see. So those are my three lovely patterns I can't wait to make. Um, the other thing which I got for Christmas is from Dominique and I absolutely love it and it's sort of to do with sewing so I thought I'd include it in this video and it's a sketchbook. Now I carry a sketchbook with me literally everywhere. I always have a sketchbook in my bag because I'm always sketching ideas for sewing projects or videos or whatever when I'm on the go and this is a beautiful one but look closely. It says my name, Rosabella's sketchbook. Ah, I was so excited when I opened this. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's got lovely designs too. It's got little swimmers. It's got eyes. It's just really cool and unusual. So yeah, thank you very much. It's just so, so, so beautiful. So yeah, that was a really, really lovely, lovely, lovely surprise. It's just got plain pages inside. Um, and it's from a company called Mother of Pearl and Papier. I'm probably saying that wrong. There it is. That's the collaboration that made this notebook. So yeah, very, very pleased with that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I thought I only had one more thing to show you, but it was something hiding underneath it. So the next thing is something from my mum again. Um, and they were in my stocking. And they're these really cool, my mum runs an antique shop, which is where she gets this sort of thing, vintage fabric stamps. Yeah, they're just so cool. I think they're really, really interesting. So I'm going to have a go, probably when it's a bit warmer, I think, because I don't think I can dry anything at the moment. Everything's always, take, the laundry takes like four days to dry at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're just fabric stamps, so these lovely paisley designs, so I'm really excited to have a go at doing some fabric printing in the warmer months, that's really cool. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you, this is actually the last one now, is a t-shirt which my boyfriend got me, and I love it, and it, the reason I wanted to show you, it's not nothing to do with sewing, but it reminded me of the lovely online sewing community, and it's a Joni clothing one, you've probably seen it before, it says, go, go, girls club! <laughs> And yeah, I just think it's really cute. Yeah, it reminded me so much of the amazing online sewing community, all the awesome girls that I chat to, um, and yeah, all the all the amazing girl bosses out there running awesome sewing small businesses. So yeah, that just reminded me of all of that sewing community goodness. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, so yeah, those are my Christmas presents, my sewing Christmas presents. I've been absolutely spoiled, as you can see. I'm so, so, so lucky. I hope you all had a really fantastic Christmas. I hope you'll have a wonderful new year. Um, full of health and happiness. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you got for Christmas and we can have a little chat. Oh, and do let me know if you tried any of these patterns before as well. I'd be very interested to hear um, what your experiences are and how your garments came out. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah, that's everything for today, guys. I do hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.